we're looking for s, so this x coordinate over here. And you might be tempted to think that this is going to be the same as this. But we don't know that this, um, this shape here is symmetrical. We don't know that like these points are at the same height. They could be a little tilted one way or a little tilted the other way. Just because it looks symmetrical doesn't mean that it is. I'd start by just making some right triangles. If you can make a right triangle somewhere, that's great because it tends to be that from right triangles, you're going to be able to make inferences, especially on the coordinate plane. And in this case, we've got these points, and they're going to allow us to get the height here. That's going to be the same as the y coordinate. And this base, which is going to be the same as the x coordinate. We've got two sides of a right triangle. That means we can definitely get the third using Pythagorean theorem. Now you might notice that you've got a right triangle and you've got one root three, two. So that's the ratio of a 30, 60, 90 triangle with the 30 angle being across from one and the 60 being across from root three. That leaves the balance here at 60 because this whole thing has to be 180. So this must also be 30. We've got another 30, 60, 90, but no sides. But it's a circle, right? So these radii must be the same. And whenever you're dealing with a circle, always check out the radii. They're usually going to be helpful. So now that we know this, we can figure out this and this because this is also a 30, 60, 90. So the 30, opposite 30 is 1, and opposite 60 is root 3. So the base goes out to that point Q, so the uh, x-coordinate, or s, is just going to be 1.